How do you use the different social media platforms and what kind of both content and value are you trying to get out of each platform? I'm gonna go over how I use them and what I'm looking for when I'm using them. So, okay, first of all, we're gonna start with TikTok. For TikTok, I'm using this primarily to build my personal brand uh, and you know my name in my industry, I'm in HR, and so um, I have over 100 videos on my TikTok page, and um, most of them, probably about 60 of them right now, are in HR and business content, but I can't always come up with ideas for those. So sometimes I'll just take an article and I'll just comment on it. And then that article is, um, you know, on some social thing that's going on that I just want to have a discussion on. So that's how I use TikTok. And TikTok has also been the brand that it has been easiest for me to build a following on. I've been heavy on TikTok for about four months and I'm at about 23K. And um, like I said, the, the great thing about this platform is that it's very fun to engage with people, it's very quick, um, and um, I, I really enjoy uh, this app a lot. Next app we're gonna review is Instagram. So Instagram, I found it harder to grow, and I had to kind of learn all the differences between why reels and um, and posts are different and how things are presented out there. I do more lifestyle content, like my family and all that kind of stuff on Instagram. And um, at the same time, um, you know, put stuff for my dogs and all that kind of stuff there, stuff that I don't put on TikTok. Um, and I enjoy Instagram. I like the reels feature. Um, and, um, you know, I've had, kind of questionably I've had a couple reels explode on um, Instagram which is responsible for most of my growth I'm at 999 there one more follower gonna hit a thousand and uh, it's definitely been slower than TikTok growth for me but I enjoy Instagram mostly for the reels feature and just to kind of catch up on people with my life celebrities brands that type of stuff where TikTok is more like for like everyday people Instagram is still like more celebrity based for me or company based all right, now we're going over to Facebook. So Facebook is an app that I took a big break from for a while um, when the 2016 um, election came out and I saw all my friends and family going at each other um, and people that I'd known my whole life who I never knew their political opinions before and everybody kind of went crazy. Um, I completely shut down my Facebook account. I was like, this is not for me that they're showing this much political content and people are this not nice to each other. It didn't feel good to have that much negativity. Um, it, when things quieted down about a year ago, I went back. Um, and mostly right now, I'll just use Facebook every once in a while just to kind of catch up on where people are at in my life. But mostly I'm just cross posting stuff from Instagram over to Facebook, the same kind of content. Um, and it's like, a, it's more um, family oriented content um, other than like TikTok, which is just more about like uh, my profession or social stuff. All right, and then we got Clapper. So Clapper is um, a different type of app. It definitely has a different audience than TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. Um, I got in Clapper a while ago just to be like, okay, this is just another place I can cross post, put the content out. But Clapper is limited to three minute um, stuff. Uh, there's definitely a different uh, audience here politically than uh, on the other apps. Uh, Clapper is... Um, much more um, conservative than um, than TikTok or uh, Facebook or Instagram. Um, and so you're gonna get uh, more of those types of comments over on this app, I've noticed, a lot more. Um, and so, and um, your videos here that are oriented towards things about the economy, those are the ones that do really big. I've had some videos go really big on Clapper, but um, with the limit of three minutes, I had to figure out, am I just gonna break each video into chunks? And that became too much work. So I ended up just posting it in three minutes and then my other links are up there if people wanna be able to go to them and be able to see the rest of the content they can. But it was too much of a pain to be able to break everything out if I have a nine minute video to break it into three videos for Clapper. But so I'm on there and um, I still get a lot of comments, a, a lot of views. So, um, you know, sometimes the videos on there are, are funny too. It's definitely a more casual type app I've noticed. YouTube uh, is the second to last one, and I won't really go um, too far into detail with this one because you've, YouTube, I'm just putting the long form videos for stuff. Um, I, I've got a separate like fitness account that I use for shorts a lot on that account for YouTube shorts. Um, but really, I'm just posting the videos up here um, for YouTube. Um, I, I really have not mastered the algorithm at all here because sometimes a video that I think is super good and educational will get no views. And then sometimes a video about 
fast food or something I do will just explode here. So I definitely haven't figured out how to rank up here or do well at all. I just kind of cross post the stuff and cross the fingers and hope that it does good. Um, and that's kind of what it's been for me um, on YouTube so far, but maybe eventually I'll kind of get a little bit more mastery of it because right now I stink. Also, um, the issue for me with the YouTube stuff is that if you shoot the videos up and down, you kind of get like this little sliver of it. You only get like half the screen filled out, but I'm too time gated in my life to go back and um, have to reshoot the video, you know, in a different thing and then upload it to YouTube and all that kind of stuff. I don't have time to do that. So I just post it up and sometimes it does good and sometimes it doesn't. And then last, I'm also on LinkedIn. And of course, um, with LinkedIn, I'm much more careful about what type of com content I'm putting up there. I'm not gonna put social commentary on there and things. I'm only gonna put, I'm not gonna put professional opinions on there either. All I'm really gonna put are things that I think are valuable, things on like how to get hired, how to do your resume, how to beat the ATS system to have um, you know jobs looking at you for a best fit, um, how to interview, all these types of things that are like the most helpful type videos. I'll cross post those to LinkedIn. Sometimes those do good sometimes they don't LinkedIn is also the easiest platform it just requires like some personal documents to be able to get verified on there so that's great if you're looking for a little bit more kind of legitimacy in what you're doing you can do it right through the app and it's super simple it doesn't require a certain number of followers or videos or views like everybody else does and um, through all of the apps guys I'll tell you this that like my goal I, I read a book called crushing it by Gary Vaynerchuk a number of years ago and in that book he talks about the value of building a personal brand and the value basically comes down to this like if you lose your job today um, who else knows who you are um, to be able to go out and see you as a professional in your field as an expert in your field well, if you're not putting that video content out there, no one will see you in that manner. So what that really shakes out to in the end then is like, okay, so um, every single one of us has the possibility of um, having somebody see us and go, oh, wow, this guy's really knowledgeable in his subject or this lady really knows um, stuff about this. And then those can become career opportunities. And you never know who's watching one of your videos and or one of your, one of your videos could just take off. Um, and so it, I think it's important to build a personal brand um, if you're a professional out here um, because you know you never know with a company. A company can lay everybody off, a company can go out of business, it can get sold, any number of things can always happen. And the more you can brand yourself as a professional in your field, the better position that you're gonna be in. Yes, you can have a great resume and everything else that comes with it, but being a professional in your field is really valuable and putting yourself out that way, I think holds um, a good amount of weight for you being able to network yourself in a different way than just the people that you meet. So I don't have a favorite social media platform anymore. Um, I definitely don't have a great feel. Being my age, I'm 45, I'll be 46 this year. I feel very old to be trying to figure out the algorithms and all this stuff. So I just make the best videos that I can. I try to kind of pay attention to what people want and what they respond to and make videos that I think are fun. Because if you, I make one video every day when I get home from work. I pull into my driveway, I hit the record button. I do, you know, five to seven minutes talking about either an HR topic or a social topic. And then I, I go into the house and, you know, I, I do the little cap cut thing for three or four minutes and it's done. And then every morning, the next morning when I wake up, I just, boom, I spend five minutes cross posting to five platforms and it's out. So it's, you know, 10 minutes at night and then five minutes every morning for me. So it's a short and sweet thing. Sometimes the videos do great on one platform and get no views on another. And I don't sit and try to analyze it all day to try to figure it out. I just do it because it's been a fun thing for me. Um, of all the platforms, if you're looking at monetization, then definitely um, I think that TikTok is the easiest one to do that through, but maybe I'm ignorant of that due to my age and my complete lack of knowledge of social media. I just do the best I can. But even with me having a complete lack of knowledge of social media, what I figured out is that at least on um, platforms um, like YouTube and, and TikTok, the more real and the more yourself you can be, the more authentic you can be, I think the more that people can connect with you and I think that's valuable. And then you put the content out and if it hits the right people or the algorithm picks it up that day or use the right hashtag, who knows? But you can't value yourself by the number of views that you get on one video on one platform that day, it's silly. So I think cross posting is really valuable for personal branding. And uh, I'd like to know what you guys think. What's your favorite um, social media app? Why do you use it? Which ones have you found valuable for different purposes? Which ones do you monetize on? I I'd like to know what you guys think. Leave me some comments so I can read them and comment back and get to know you guys a little bit. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.